my goddess Chrissy welcome to my channel once again I'm gonna be doing a reading on um, President Joe Biden I just found out that he has um, he's dropping out of the race to be president for a second term so I just wanted to like tap into his energy um, get some cards basically about his personality at this time <clears throat> I always said that he was too old to be president so I'm not surprised by this latest uh, development because I mean at that point when you're in your 80s you're starting to forget things you're not all the way there and to be a person that's in charge of the whole United States and everything else that comes with that it's, it's too much it's too much so I'm just gonna ask source here they tell me what Joe Biden's personality is at this time. So I don't know if you guys remember my personality cards. For those of you who've seen my readings before, I draw three cards basically giving us the energy of the person that I'm doing a reading on. Okay? So here we go. Here is Joe Biden in a nutshell on how he is right now. Okay? His personality or any traits that he may have at this time. These are calling me, so I'm going to get that one. Okay, so you guys just saw. I picked the cards. Don't know what they are. Going to find them right along with you. Okay? All right, let's see the first card. Thief. Thief. Okay? So the first card describing... Um, I wanted to say Donald Trump for some reason. So because I wanted to say Donald Trump, I feel like... Joe Biden feels a lot of resentment towards Donald Trump. He feels like Donald Trump has stole his victory. I think that with this card, Joe Biden already knows that Donald Trump is basically going to get the win for this um, presidency. And I can feel and hear him saying, you know, United States is not ready to accept a woman president with Kamala Harris coming in and running for presidency. So he knows that it's it's just like a win for Donald Trump. And with this card here, he feels like it was stolen from him. Joe Biden feels like the presidency was stolen from him in a way of his youth was taken away. Just all the stress that like he he's looking for a scapegoat. He's looking for someone to blame and he's blaming Donald Trump. OK, it says sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. Now, that's the light attribute. The shadow attribute, stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. Okay. All right, next card. Saboteur. Okay. So Joe Biden is definitely not happy about um, having to step down and not being able to run for a second term. It says highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it could bring to your life. So I feel with this card, because of his health is declining and here it is, self-destructive behavior or desire to undermine others. He has a lot of things going on in his mind, especially with the future of the country. And he feels like it's not going to be in good shape if Donald Trump does win the presidency, which he feels he just gave it away by letting go and not running for the second term. Joe Biden definitely feels like he had a, a greater chance of winning this second term um, presidency than Kamala Harris. And with him dropping out or feeling forced to drop out, he feels like he's sabotaging the country and himself. Okay, third card, Angel. Helping those in need with no expectation of return in return um acting innocent or angelic to mislead other falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance so i feel like joe biden does feel like this was divinely guided for him to do um he does feel like his spiritual team and ancestors and angels are watching over him and that this was the best move that he needed to make even though he didn't want to make it he feels like at the end of the day this is all happening for a reason. There's a divine purpose for this. I don't understand what it is. I don't get it. This is his attitude. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know why this really sucks. Why didn't this happen sooner when I could become presidency 
or president when I was a little bit younger. That way I could have ran my, my two terms, but now I'm older and now I have to give it to this guy. But at the same time, he's still being holding on to his faith. I don't know what his religion is. I don't know what he believes in, but he does believe that there's a higher purpose for all and that this is happening for a reason that he may not understand now, may never understand, but he's accepting it, okay? So even though Joe Biden is pissed that he has had to drop out of this race, he um, is kind of like battling with himself, with his ego and his pride and basically trying to humble himself at the same time to say, God, I know that you have a reason for all things. And even though I don't get it, I, I understand and accept that this is what it is. Okay. So that those are Joe Biden's personality cards right now. He's not happy he had to drop out, but he gets it. He gets it that it needs to be done. Okay. There's so many other things that can be said as well, but we're going to just go right into the reading. And we're going to confirm what these personality cards were saying. So, I hope I have all these cards here. Okay. So, let's see. How does Biden feel about dropping out of this presidential race source? How does Biden feel about it? Okay, I don't do reversals. <laughs> that was my son snoring, if you guys heard that. So I definitely feel like Biden is tired, okay? You know, we get signs in different ways. And the fact that my son was just snoring like that, Biden is tired, okay? There have been many times where he did not want to go, go get up he wanted to continue to sleep okay that was confirmation right there i feel like deep down inside biden wanted to um to leave he didn't want to continue um the it's like it's a lot of mixed emotions guys like deep inside he has a lot going on on the outside he's not going to show you guys that he's um that he's really feeling down and out about this but then at the same time he's tired you know so it's like i i know i'm i'm tired and i'm old and exhausted and it's too much i know that but at the same time deep inside of him it hurts. He's very emotional about this, but he's keeping his emotions to himself. He feels like both the Republican and the um, Democratic Party wanted this. It would, He felt like both of them, both sides were pushing him out, but more so he feels like the Democratic side were just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. The Republicans have been trying for a while and they finally got what they wanted. He still feels like it was a sneaky move on their on the Republicans part because they've been just throwing jabs and throwing things at him, especially you know dealing with his son and all these other issues that come along with the uh with that. But he feels like there was sneakiness behind it. There was definitely sneakiness behind it. And it's not something he wanted to admit that this needed to be done, even though it's something that needed to be done. So again, there's just a lot of mixed emotions. There's a lot of feelings of, well, what if I would have done things this way? Well, what if I would have made this decision a different way? But the, again, there's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of emotions here. Okay. Let me see. What was what what led to the final decision of Biden dropping out of the race? What happened, source? Why he finally decided, okay, I'm gonna do this. What happened? A lot of these cards are upside down. 
the numbers were just not coming in for him. It just wasn't any hope that he could win. Yeah. Look at the death card is there. Two times we got the death card. It's just like there there was no hope of winning. There was no hope of getting the say. It was it would have been really by a long shot. And so ultimately his team brought the numbers in. The numbers didn't look good at all. And so they they said it's it's pointless for you to run because you're definitely not gonna win and it's gonna be an embarrassing um not only for the Democratic Party but for you in history. So they basically told him, hey, they basically pushed him out, guys. He got pushed out. He was forced to go. He didn't want to go, even though he was tired as hell. But he was still going to fight it out, whether he would be sleeping all the time. He was going to fight it out and try to stay in there. But they pushed him out. What was it that the Democratic Party saw that made them very... Um, weary about whether Joe Biden could go the second term. What was it that they saw, heard, what took place? Let's see. There was something that had to have happened or that they heard. What was it that took place why the Democratic Party was pushing for Trump to leave? It was always the Republican Party from the, the get-go, you know, but the Democrats kind of put the nail in the coffin. What was it that made the Democrats decide Biden needed to leave? Let's see. There was a lot of stuff going on that he didn't know about or that he forgot about or that he wasn't taken care of. There were two people that was involved in this decision. I feel like this is actually Kamala Harris. I feel like she turned her back on Biden and went with um, the parties in agreeing that, that he needed to step down. Yeah. I think there's going to be a um, very, very soon um, Biden won't be able to walk as well as he can. He'll be very frail in his legs. Why was that? Is it something? It's something with his joints, his bones. His bones. Yeah. Yeah his bones either with his bones or blood penetration something there but he won't be able to walk he'll be sitting down more often okay so don't be surprised if you guys see him sit or, sitting down more yeah they're gonna try different treatments but no no Okay, they want me to talk about the shooting with Donald Trump. How did Biden feel, allegedly, when um, Trump was shot or grazed, I should say, I'm sorry. How did Biden feel about it? <laughs> it's crazy enough, guys. Once he found out that Trump was uh, shot he knew that that was the that was it that this was gonna bring more and more people on trump's side it was gonna unite more people because they were going to feel remorse so it was gonna bring more people on to trump see these this is um biden losing people losing numbers losing numbers the ratings the ratings he already knew that at that point, he would have to retreat. He would have to leave. Once that happened, he knew he was going to leave. 
But again, I feel like there's a sense of relief. There's a sense of relief. Like, I feel like he needed an out. I don't know if he knows that deep down or on the surface, but he needed an out. He needed a reason to go. And that was it, that there was no chance of him winning. And he was going to lose by a landslide. Okay, so that's how Biden felt. He felt like, okay, there's no way I'm winning this presidency a second term. How did Donald Trump feel when he heard that Biden dropped out of the race? How did Donald Trump feel about this when he heard Biden Trump well, jumped out of the race? Trump felt like it's about time, you know. Um, Trump really looks at politics as like a bunch of kids that don't know what to do and don't know how to act. And he lined up Biden right along with that. He feels like you're just one of the kids that, you know, you, you got to go. And it's about time that you realize that. I feel like Trump has become a lot more religious or prayerful um, since being grazed or shot. He's been a lot more patient in letting things come to him. And he feels like that moving forward, that's going to benefit him in certain situations. Just being patient, waiting it out and letting things happen. In this case... That's exactly what happened. Um, he knew that Biden needed to jump out of the race. And so he wasn't surprised. He wasn't surprised. Give me more information about this. Let me see. All right, how did Trump feel when he heard that Biden dropped out of the race? How did Trump feel when he heard Biden dropped out of the race? How did Trump feel about it? So, mm -hmm. Moving on. Moving on, um, it had to do with his health. It had to do with his health. Okay. And it also says someone sabotaged this. So I, I believe somebody was going to expose something too. Something was going to be exposed about Biden's health and because... It was going to be exposed. He needed to move on. He had to move on. They keep talking about the heart. It may be something with his heart. It may be something with his heart. Mm hmm Yeah. That's why when I saw the legs thing, it either has something to do with bones or blood circulation. Okay, but there's something going on with Biden and his health. And he will not be able to be president with that lingering there. And along with that, his health and his age works against him. Okay. Now, I want to go into spiritual questions now. So, I'm going to ask, why is it that it would not be best for Biden to have a second term. Why is it that it's not best for Biden to have a second term? Things wouldn't move forward with the country. It would stay still. 
and it would actually get worse. People would be more separated. Instead of being united, they would be more separated and lower vibrations will take advantage of this. Lower vibrations will take advantage of this. Why is it best that, don't, that Biden doesn't have a separate term? Why is it best that Biden? Because there will be lower vibrations trying to sabotage the unity of the people. Yes, that is the unit that is coming together in divine timing. Give it time. So right now we're like a plant. We're growing together. We're learning how to unite with each other. And if Biden did go and become president for the second term, that was all be sabotage. People would not be as united as they're going to be now. Now, I'm going to ask, is Trump or Kamala Harris going to win the presidency? Let's see. Um, let me see. Is Kamala Harris going to be in to go against Trump? Are they going to vote her in to go against Trump? Source. I don't think that Kamala Harris is going to go against Trump. I feel like it's going to be another man, a man who has a lot of money. Um, and I feel like this person is already known. Um, let me see. Are they in politics already? Probably got to be. Is this person in politics already that is going to go against Trump? He comes from money, like behind the scenes. It's maybe somebody that we haven't really seen like that. I don't think so. But he's somebody. He's a man that has money. And think about a person who has their businesses and are, is a millionaire, but you never heard of them. Like it's someone that you never heard of. I don't see this being somebody that we know. But I'm seeing this being someone that has money and his family comes from a line of people who's had money. Let me see. Do we, does, does the general public know this man who's going up against Trump? Does the general public know him? Yes, it says that we do know him. It says that we do know him. Don't be surprised if he uh, goes up against Trump and then has Kamala Harris as his VP. That's also possible too. Okay, um, let me see. How does Kamala Harris feel about Biden stepping down? How does Kamala Harris feel about Biden stepping down? How does Kamala Harris feel about it? It, she feels like it took him a while and that he should have been passed the baton to her. She's been waiting and asking and it, it took longer than it should have. It took longer than it should have. Does she feel like she's going to win the presidency? Does Kamala Harris feel like she's going to win the presidency? She knows that it's going to be a battle because people do not see a woman as president yet. It's like an uphill battle. She knows that it's going to be an uphill battle. She knows that. Let me see. All right, let's see. 
What what are Trump? I'm sorry, Trump. Oh gosh, I want me to do a reading on Trump so bad. I'm gonna do a reading on Trump after Biden. But what is uh, Biden? What is he gonna be doing after you know he leaves office? What is he gonna be doing? Tell me, source. <laughs> See, he's ready to go. Look at this. He's tired, guys. He's so tired. His angels, they know he's tired. It may be, I mean, you know, I, I'm not going to say it. But he's basically just going to look at this. This is the Joker walking away. That is, that's like the fool card. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't that much longer after this that it would it would be time for Biden to to go spiritually because this this looks a lot like you know um, heaven. I'm just gonna say, but yeah, okay. Look at this. Even with the this card, look, he has the the king there and just basically giving it up giving it up and going about his business. Um, yeah, guys, I look at this, the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Um, all right. What, what is going to happen? Or, you know, what, what were people's reactions? when they found out that Biden dropped out of the race. What were people's reactions to the source? What did they think? Okay, so there were some who thought it was a good thing and some who pan are panicking because they're like, Who's going to literally put the fire out? You know, the fire is supposed to be Donald Trump. And they're like, who's going to put that fire out? Um, and it's so funny that it was like the Joker on the last card that was, you know, packed his bags and was leading. And now here's the, the Joker again that's like putting the fire out. So it really goes to show how Biden is like just another character you know, that was just put in place. Um, but it wasn't really expected to get much done. There's a lot of people that see Biden as a part of the family and they feel like it's best for him to spend his time with family now, with his grandchildren, with his kids, because they know that, you know, he's of age and that's, that's where he should be at. There's also other people who feel like it's it was a battle between good and evil bad and good okay it's very spiritual yeah a lot of people felt like with biden biden could save them from the uh craziness of trump and now that he's gone, who are they gonna have? So some people feel hopeless and some people understand, they get it. And other people are just hoping that someone comes and saves the Democratic Party because they feel like they need a savior at this time. All right, let me ask Source. Source what do you want us to know about the elections and the presidency? What do you want people to know and keep in mind during this whole process? Let's see. Daughter of Swords. Basically, don't believe everything you see and hear. Ancestors are with you, you know, if you reach out to your spiritual team, they'll guide you on which direction to go.
there's a lot of things that are hidden, hidden and that will be coming to the light. But also, they want you to wake up to see what is actually going on here and not remain asleep. Mm -hmm. There will be a man in office who will be worthy of the position and on on top of that will grow you saw remember when we got that card that plant card that said give it time when i was saying well why is it you know why isn't joe biden gonna be there a second term and they were saying give it time everything happens in divine timing and you see the plant there and i was saying that um, with him not running for the second term, it allows people to unite and for things to blossom. And here we go again with planting the seed, you know, putting water, something growing. And this, this is the man that's going to help us get there. This is the man that's going to help us get there. He's the king of coins. Um, if he doesn't come from money, he's someone who is very valuable respects himself um is this shot of coins is this donald trump source is this person donald trump no it's not donald trump No, it's not Donald Trump. I feel like in about three years. Let me ask. Hold on. But this man here is someone else. When, when are we going to see or hear about this shot of coins, this leader that's going to reveal himself? When are we going to see him? When are we gonna see this man? When is he gonna reveal himself to the public source? When is he gonna reveal himself to the public or just be known for let's see what the source is gonna tell us? This man is going to make a difference. All right, so something is something in February, something in a few months is when you're gonna hear something about this this person here. This person here is going to be a leader in the change of the United States. There we go. Some cards: March, September, the next full moon. So things are definitely going to be, be revealed starting from September. We may see something about this guy. Okay. And this may be the guy going against Trump. I don't know. Let me see. Let me ask. Let me ask here. Is this shot of coins going to be the one that's going up against Trump? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So you guys watch out for the person that's going against Trump because... He really wants to make a difference. He really wants to make a difference. So whoever this man is that's going against Trump, 
for presidency, look out for him. I'm going to do a reading on Trump and I'll look into more on his opponent to see who's going to win that presidency, Donald Trump or this person here, the Shah of Queens, okay? All right, you guys, so that's it for the reading. Basically, Biden is tired and, you know, it's so funny that I always said this to my family. I'm like, look, Biden is, is very old um, and he needs to relax and he's tired. I mean, just imagine living 80 something years. You gotta be more tired than the rest of the population at some point. Cause that's a lot of years to be living, you know? Just think of it that way. But yeah, so that that's the reading for Biden, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, it's my goddess Chrissy. Bye.